Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. So welcome to a new episode here in the Philippines. And today you can see we're in pitch dark and we're going somewhere. So we're actually going to do Ocelot whale shark watching, finally. And we're gonna to go to Summerland Islands as well. So currently it's 5 a.m. here in Moao Boao. So you guys actually taught me this last time because last time I pronounced it as mobile. But anyway, <laughs> according to the driver, it's actually two hours away. Mm -hmm. So uh, now it's the perfect time to sleep because we are so <laughs> sleepy. It's too early for this. All right, guys. So after around two hours of drive, we finally arrived here in Oslo. We're going to do some Oslo whale shark swimming. And anyway, you can see we arrived at a small town. A lot of people, tourists, as well as restaurants, and I believe that might be even like a fruit of smoothie stores. I don't know. But uh, anyway, we've arrived in this busy district. It's still early in the morning here. It's around 7 o'clock. And uh, you can see so much is happening here. So many tourists. Yeah, so many tourists here. I guess this is one of the most popular tourist attra attractions here in the south of Cebu. That's why you can see. Hello! <laughs> Hong Kong! <laughs> You can see they've got some souvenirs and some sort of like swimming accessory stores and we're slowly walking to our destination. You just listen to the number. So okay. The number we're called now is 64. 64. Oh, so let's <laughs> wait for the number of 105. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. So we got shortcut. Cut the line. Yeah, this is shortcut. <laughs> shortcut. All right. <laughs> For those who swim, applying of sunblock lotion or any skin protection is not allowed because these products contain chemicals that can harm the whale sharks. Wow, very short briefing but very concise. They say exactly what we need. So five meters distance between you and the whale shark and no accessories and no sunscreen as well. So because uh, the chemicals might harm the whale shark because if you put on sunscreen they ask to wash it off. So now we're just waiting patiently for our unique number and you can see there are heaps of people around. We come to more early, right? Mm, yeah. To be first. We already came very early to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I guess because we live far away. Normally people they live around Oslo here, but we because we live in Moaboa, so it was so far away, it was two hours drive. Finally, 105. <laughs> After waiting for around half an hour or one hour, finally it's us. Alright, so we've got our life jacket here. So this is our amazing driver Junis who took us overnight here to this spot. Amazing driver. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> anyway, you can see all the boats, the whale shark washing boats are all here. So originally I thought it would be a lot further in the ocean. I'm so worried because it's like uh, wind and big waves mm. and I'm worried like waves take me to another, <laughs> <laughs> another place. Another part. Nah, everyone's here. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. And uh, that island is where we'll be heading next, the Samila Island. Boat number 107. Uh, 107. 107. Uh, 107. 107. 107. Yeah. So big. Yeah, it looks like a small boat actually. I thought it would be a bigger boat. But you can see, many people are pedaling back. It's good, it's not like motor boat because when it's motor, usually uh, like dolphins, they, mm. they so bad, feel so bad. Yeah, there are many, many experiences in Indonesia, for example, when someone spotted, oh, a sea turtle, and then every single boat just raced towards a sea turtle. It's so bad for the environment, but yeah, it's good that they're using, like, just pedaling here. Yeah, I think Filipino, Filipino people, they more care about animals. Mm, definitely. Definitely more uh, conserving the environment. Even when we enter Moaboa, we need to pay, like, an environmental fee. I think that fee is used to help to protect the environment, which is good. Like, really good. Okay. Wow, strong waves. Okay. Slowly coming. Wait. Two, two. two people. Good. Wait. So, the, let the pedaling stop. Wow, the water color is so, so blue. So green, actually. Emerald green color. Like Gatorade. <laughs> Goodbye, Shaw. And uh, let this adventure begin. <laughs> Everyone has a GoPro. I don't know what are these for, but uh, I think we will know very soon. Oh, there, oh, there you go. There's one. 
Stay so close. Ooh. Wow. I see. Oh, big whale shark. Right there. Oh, God. Uh, goggles, baby. It's a goggles. Oh, two. Two of them. Wow, so close. The whale sharks. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cool. You ready to see? That's it for whale sharks, guys. So yeah, just then the sharks are swimming so close, so close. We don't we ha really have a choice, and they're so big, yes, massive. And uh, you know, just now they're breathing. They're five meters distance, but it's we cannot avoid because the sharks are swimming through with us. Like I feel like we can shark humans. Exactly. They are not scared of humans at all. I think they're so used to it because people feeding the the whale sharks here every single day, so they're so used to human interaction already. So uh, yeah, it's crazy, but basically the chefs just follow wherever the boat feeding boat is just now. But anyway, we're slowly going back to the shore, and uh, yeah, that concludes our whale shark watching yeah. activity, so really. Many good video and photos. Exactly. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, so tired, so, so tired. So tired. Oh, tired. Just look how clear the water is here. Yeah, crazy. Super lucky that we came here very early because now you can see in the afternoon is completely packed with people. Anyway, guys, that's the end of our Oslo whale shark watching video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay safe and stay tuned for our next video. Goodbye. Bye.